What's going on my Z Ninjas? Today we are going to be reviewing the SH Figures Android 17 Universal Survival Saga. This was the Android 17 for the tournament power and I got this Android 17 in Mexico. In Mexico vlog day 4. So check out my Mexico vlogs if you hadn't seen them because I vlogged my vacation in Mexico. So here's the front of the box looking all cool with the Tamashii Nation's quality sticker. Toy Animation, Dragon Ball Super, Tamashii Nation, and Bandai, Warning Ages 15 and up. Here's the side of the box, and here's the other side with some pretty cool images. Here's the top, here's the bottom, and here's the bag where you could get him into along with some of his accessories. That is the box, now let's get him out of the box. We. The things back here are in Spanish, like all the warnings and stuff, because I did get him in Mexico. So that's pretty cool. And here he is out of the packaging, and he looks absolutely fantastic. First of all, the hair looks really good. It looks like Android 17 walked right out of the anime. The face looks great. The hair, nice sculpted lines all throughout it. The MIR shirt, though I will replace it with MVP because he is the GOAT. Like one of the best players in the show and in the game fires. So yeah, he has a nice green and white sweater with the ranger band across his arm. Very nice. Nice little belt here and some jeans. Very cool jeans. Some nice wrinkles here and a seam line all throughout this. And his boots. His ranger boots. Nice sculpted laces all throughout them which look very nice and well detailed. And then the bump. Not much going on, and some wrinkles here too. But overall, this is a simple yet well detailed Android 17 figure, and I'm so glad I finally got it. I got, I paid it a US dollars. How much is that pesos? I'm not sure. But I paid a US dollars, and on the Big Bad Toy Store, I believe he's like a hundred. But anyways, that's enough of that. Let's move on to his accessories. Moving on to the accessories, we got a bunch of stuff that comes with this Android 17 figure. So first we get four interchangeable faces. And sorry, on the left we got this basic stern face which came on him out of the packaging. And I could see, and as you could see, his earrings are nicely sculpted. Next we got an angry stern looking face. Which I really like. Very nicely painted and well detailed. Next we get the yelling screaming face. Nicely sculpted mouth. Eyes look amazing. And yeah, it looks really cool. And lastly we get his smirking face. When that he's giving a condescending smirk. Like yeah I just touched you. Yeah Jiren I just touched a nerve. What you gonna do about it huh? What you gonna do? But yeah, these are the four faces that come with him. And we also get an interchangeable hair piece. <clears throat> an interchangeable hair piece. That's more like an action pose. And the way you get in the simple, you would just pop this hair off. And pop this hair on. There we go. As simple as that. And you could put it on... Like an action looking face. Like so and there you go. You got him doing an action pose. And it looks so cool. I'm so glad that he came with this action here. It just looks so amazing. Very nice sculpting him throughout. Like he's running. Like there's wind blowing throughout it. It's just overall amazing. Next we got... A bunch of interchangeable hands. So first, <coughs> <clears throat> so 
So first we get a pair of fists, of course, which do come on the figure of the packaging, and they're all just a black plastic, like his glove. Very nice. Next we got a pair of kind of karate choppy hands. Yeah, karate choppy hands, or doing like a key blast. Or like he's running. That could also be a good pose, good use for these hands. Then we actually get a pair of key blasting hands, but they have a peg here. Why? Because he comes with a little key, little energy effect here. There we go. It looks like a little candy, but you could see the hole. And what you do is simply peg it in. And there you go. It looks like he's charging up a blast. Next, we got another pair of key blasting hands without the peg. Pretty nice. And another pair, uh, I wouldn't say key blasting, more like martial arts dance hands. Or like his outro in Dragon Ball Fires where he's holding, where, where he's like got his hand in his hair. You know the pose I'm talking about where he's done fighting someone and he wins and he just has his hand on his head with his hair blowing the wind. I would say that that's that pose from Dragon Ball Fires. But yeah, and next we got, we already covered this energy effect. It's just a simple ball with some nice sculpting detail throughout it, like it's swirling. And it has a hole, you just, you just peg in and it's simple. But my favorite accessory is this shield piece. Which I'm pretty sure you put on his face and it looks like he's doing that move that he did against the big dude. Where he shielded himself, flew through the big key blast and shielded his face and broke its gem. And it's also one of his moves in Dragon Ball Fires as well. So I really like that. And it's got dark green here and it moves on to a much lighter green as it goes. Very nice sculpting all throughout it. Very nice. And... Yeah, you just, it's a little hollow in the end. But overall, that's it for the accessories, and he does come with quite a bit. Let's move on to his articulation. And to articulation, we're going to start up and work our way down. So looking up, he can't look very high up with that hair, but he could look up enough, like a pretty array amount. Look down, he could look down almost all the way, so that's pretty cool. Side to side, he has pretty good range of motion. 360, of course. Next for shoulders, they could go out quite a bit, actually. Yes, he's T posing on Jiren. Very nice. 360 arm swivel, yes, he can. Bicep swivel, he has. So articulate. Next we got double jointed elbows that bend back all the way. We got wrist swivel and wrist hinge. Next for torso, we he could bend forward about this much. He could bend back really far. Pretty far actually, that's pretty cool. He got side to side movement also. 360, yes sir. And wait, is his belt movable too? Oh his belt's uh, his belt is a little separate piece as well. That's pretty cool. Next for feet, he could kick forward this much. He can't kick back that much. Cause his cheeks are blocking his legs. And um, he could kick to the side about this much. Pretty cool. He could do double jointed knee like he's kneeing someone. Bah. Double jointed knees. Ankle rocker. Ankle pivot up and down. And, of course, toe hinge. Overall, that concludes the articulation. Let's move on to final thoughts. Moving on to final thoughts. This figure is an easy 10 out of 10 it come it looks amazing it has a bunch of accessories like it has 
it went above and beyond in the accessories department. They could have not given us an effect blast. But the effect that they gave us too is absolutely amazing. And that's hairpiece. Cherry on top. 10 out of 10. It looks good. It has amazing articulation. And the accessories is what really sells it. I got mine in Mexico. They might have in Big Red Toy Store. Maybe. But he'll be like a 100 or more in Big Red Toy Store. I only got him for $80 in Mexico. So anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like, comment down below what you think about this figure and this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're almost at 400 subscribers, and I'll see you guys next time.